Look at all these people. What do they need in their lives? Some excitement. A little magic. And you think you can deliver that? Magic. Thespis? Are you acting in another play? Ali... Allo... Alexios! Aristophanes' friend! And my friend, too. I'd be nowhere without your support. I suppose if I hadn't carried you out, you might still be in that tavern. On the floor! Thespis had this brilliant idea to put on a play in this town. He's got a reputation as a great actor, so I thought... This could be a huge success! I'm beginning to think I thought wrong. No, no, everything is under control. You keep an eye on the ticket sales, my darling Rodanti, and my friend Alexios will take care of everything else. I promise you, I know nothing about theater. Don't be so modest. You'll be known as the hero who made Leonidas and his 300 Spartans the play of the century. The play is about King Leonidas. You know, my family... Your family can come, of course. I'm sure they'll be proud to see you. Just help me tell that glorious hero's tale. I'll help Thespis put on the play. The story of Leonidas must have its due. Very well, then. I expect you to deliver. So what do you need done? Bring wine! Not for me, for our audience. So you think the audience won't listen to the tale of Leonidas unless they're drunk? They won't be drunk, just appreciative. Where are you keeping the wine? Well, I had wine, but then the local military commander commandeered... Hey, I should put that in the script. The Persian commander commandeered the, uh, casks. That's it. Then I'll have to re-commandeer it myself. Where is this commander? He kept the expensive wine and left the rest for his soldiers. An ordinary audience might be content with the cheaper drink. If we serve the best wine... We could get a more sophisticated audience. It might be harder to get to, but worth it. You speak my language! Better wine could mean a more generous crowd. Where are the two places the wine is being stored? Most of it is in the stable of Ares. But the good stuff? That's in the Miurgi Fort. I'll take care of everything.
good wine should be in that fort. If the officers haven't drunk it all already. There it is. Must be the good wine Thespis mentioned. Oh, but it smells awful. I should try it. Ugh, this tastes like horse piss. I can't serve this. There must be something better nearby. This wine tastes like a This wine must be good. I should get back to Thespis.
I found your wine. Wonderful! Our guests will be in a fantastic mood before the play even starts. I sampled the wine. It's excellent. I'll try selling tickets in the better part of town. Our wealthy patrons won't be disappointed. So, when will I be able to see this play? Well, there's a little complication with the cast. Finding them, I mean. You've lost your actors. None of them showed up at the last rehearsal. And the time before that, they seemed terribly discouraged. Someone might have been too harsh with them. No one will get paid if they don't come back. Exactly. There's three of them in all. They're playing Ephialtis, Xerxes, and the Ennikis. I can give you an idea of where they might be. So, who's playing Leonidas? I am, of course. I trust no one but myself to carry the starring role. So Xerxes, king of the Persians, is in your play? Yes, and I found a tremendous actor to play him. He plays marvelous villains. He did mention that the Dispontian ruins were inspiring him. The Anikis. That was Leonidas' favorite lieutenant. Yes, and played by a charming young fellow. A bit of a nervous type, though. I was surprised when he told me he was going gambling in the great square here in Elise. So the traitor, Ephialtes, is missing. What a surprise. Usually, my good friend Tros is dedicated to his craft. But the last time we spoke, he seemed touched by a certain religious fervor. He said he would pray at the Spring of Piera. I hope the actors turn up. When you find our actors, send them back to me. And do your best to encourage them. Our performance will be terrible if the actors' hearts aren't in it. And that means no one will pay us. Got it. This is terrible. I'm really going to need a Leonidas to get out of this mess. Are you playing the Anikis for Thespis? I was, but now I can't. I lost all I had gambling with a commander. Now he says I'm his slave until I pay off the debt. I'll be working for him for years. All right. Let's settle this debt. Oh, thank you. The commander is right over there.
<laughs> you want to play another game? So glad you brought company. No, I... well... I need my friend back. He's due to act in a play. I think it's time you let him leave. What's the play? Leonidas and his 300 Spartans. This man plays the Enikis, Leonidas' his lieutenant. Ah, a good military play. We need more of those on the stage. Of course, it would be best if they cast real soldiers instead of Nambi Pambi actors. I'm not! Oh, never mind. So here is how it is, Mistios. This Malakas owes me a debt that he's paying off with service. Do you intend to take his place? How about you apologize for taking advantage of this man and wasting my time? You dare speak to your better like this. No one will miss such an impudent tongue. Him? If you're playing the Enikis, you should be used to bloodshed. You're a Spartan, and the right-hand man of a king. But... that's a play. And this is... Reality? The Enikis didn't have that luxury. If you want to play a soldier, learn to be one. You're right. I can't be intimidated by a little bloodshed. I'll do the story of Leonidas proud. Good. Now get back to Thespis, and be ready to put on a play. Why, Zeus, what's with the size of the boars in this country?
Beast Slayer. I'm glad to see you again. This boar was far harder to kill than the Caledonian one. But I've yet to meet a pig that can't be skewered. The gods chose well when they sent you to me. I follow where the gods lead, and they led me to you. <laughs> they have a sense of humor. How so? We will talk of the gods and their wishes once the hunt is done. I'll return when I have more pelts. of war. Do you have my seals yet? Of course I do. It was easy. How could I have doubted your greatness? Nonetheless, I appreciate the work you've done. Would you be interested in another job? I'm interested. I'm impressed with your work. Did you expect any less? I had hoped, but hiring you was a gamble. Most things in life are. I am perhaps a bit more willing to gamble than my fellow generals would like. If you take no risks, you win no wars. Exactly! How is it a mercenary understands this when the greatest generals of Athens don't? I'm not sure whether I should feel flattered or insulted. The Spartans are trying to find our supply lines. We've caught several spies already. We cannot afford such a loss. Not if you want to keep your troops alive, no. I need you to kill more of their commanders. Leave their hoplites without leadership. They'll be scrambling. Are you sure? Spartans are fierce warriors. Warriors, yes. Thinkers, no. They react like wild animals. Put them in a situation that requires genuine thought, and they fall apart. Kill the commanders and bring me their seals. We'll see how the other generals react to that. I'll get you your seals. The sooner the better. What do you think of the Spartans? If you were to ask General Ney on that, he'd tell you they were mindless brutes. That's half true. They have a base sort of cunning. It shouldn't be enough to withstand Athenian might. 
Assuming the other generals make intelligent decisions instead of stalling. You do know I'm of Spartan birth. You're more skilled than the average Spartan. In time, you might even manage Athenian citizenship. The true pinnacle of success. Of course. I wish I had more say over our naval forces. What I could do to the Spartans then. Have you held this command for long? I've been a general in the army for a long time. I made some mistakes in my early days, but I more than made up for them after. Still, everyone attributes my victories to luck, never to my own decisions. I see how that could be frustrating. Other men take credit for my victories. Cautious men who cause needless deaths by overlooking opportunities. You know what happens to a general who loses his reputation? Who gets blamed for the loss of Athenian lives? Nothing good. He dies. So I will do everything to preserve Athenian lives. Maybe one day, I'll even get credit for my accomplishments. Why do you need these seals? I need those seals to shove in the faces of the assembled generals, to get them to wake up. While they've been debating and stalling, I've been winning the war. I know what I have to do. Thank <laughs> you. 